Which of the following subatomic particles are found in the nucleus of an atom? A. Protons and neutrons. B. Protons and electrons. C. Neutrons and electrons. Or D. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. In the currently accepted model of the atom, protons and neutrons are in the nucleus, while electrons move in the mostly empty space outside the nucleus. The correct answer is A. Let's imagine what an atom looks like by imagining two atoms that are as close to each other as possible. Here's the nucleus of one atom, and here's the nucleus of the other atom. Each individual electron will be a dot much smaller than that of the one shown here for the nucleus. However, because electrons move so fast, and it is impossible to pinpoint the location of an electron, it is customary to represent them by drawing something that looks like clouds around the nucleus. Each atom is compri comprised of a nucleus and the electron cloud that surrounds it. The diagram shown here is exaggerated. If we were to draw it to scale, it won't fit your screen. The typical nucleus has a diameter of 10 to the negative 14 to 10 to the negative 13 meters, depending on how mu many protons and neutrons it has. While the typical electron cloud has a diameter of about 10 to the negative 10 meters. In other words, the typical electron cloud diameter is at least 1,000 times larger than that of the nucleus. This means if we magnify one of the nuclei to the size you see on your computer screen, about one millimeter diameter, then the neighboring nucleus should be about one to 10 meters away. Furthermore, the diameter of a, each individual electron is estimated to be less than 10 to the negative 18 meters. That's less than 100,000 times smaller than that of a typical nucleus. So the clouds we're showing here are, in fact, mostly empty space.